I'm so excited about today's video, you have no idea. I have been wanting to do this pretty much since we moved into this house. If you aren't familiar, we moved into this house in Arizona back in July of this year. We moved from LA, but before we left LA, we did a living room makeover in that apartment. So I'll link that video down below in case you haven't seen it. And then after we moved into this house, we also redid our guest room into like a dark academia theme for our guests that are probably never gonna come over to stay in, but also really it's just Drew's office and where he runs his Etsy shop out of. So it's become this sort of hobby that we've really enjoyed doing since moving into this house. And luckily, when we moved into this house, we were blessed with this incredible backyard. So now that it's cooled down a little bit, we decided that we wanted to turn this backyard space into our little sanctuary, somewhere we wanna spend all of our time. We obviously rent this house, so we can't do any kind of major changing the layout of the backyard, you know, planting trees, things like that. But we can add some fun little accessory. So it's not gonna be the most dramatic thing in the entire world, but it is gonna be really satisfying, I think. So let's take it back to the very beginning of this journey and start from square one, put some things together little by little and get this backyard finished. Let's see how it goes. Good morning from the first day of the project backyard makeover or something like that. I don't know what to call it. We have a amazing backyard space with this rental house that we're currently in and it's just so big and so vast and so empty and it's kind of in rough shape right now. I'm not gonna lie. Um, there are weeds all over the yard. There's giant Palo Verde trees that shed leaves everywhere that we need to blow out. Let's just get really real. Let's take the mask off. Let's like get as real as possible. There's dog poop poop all over the yard that I haven't cleaned up. I usually clean it once a week. It's just been getting busy with the holidays and stuff. We wanna like get fire pits going. We wanna have hammocks. We wanna have a dining set. We wanna be able to take advantage of the fact that Arizona is beautiful this time of year. We have from right now until about April or May that we can take advantage of that space before it starts getting like really, really hot. So I wanna make sure that we're doing that. I wanna make sure that we're spending as much time outside as possible. So yeah, I'm gonna take you outside. We're gonna show you some before Four shots it is it's not bad but it's not great and then hopefully we can clean it up and get it like nice and shiny and new and then we can have some really satisfying after footage so let's go check it out so here's an overview our backyard is basically separated into two parts which is the backyard itself which we'll get into my ideas for and then also the other part which is the back patio drew was in the process of starting the hanging of the string lights which we will get into so ignore that and also my dog so as you can see it needs a little bit of help so we're going to start with the backyard and i'll give you some some of my inspiration for what I want to do with it. So a loose idea again, what we have over here is maybe like in this area, having a fire pit, like some kind of fire pit with maybe some chairs just so we can like lounge out here at night, stay warm. The rest of the yard is pretty much where Layla spends her time. This is Layla's territory. Moo comes out here as well. And then, oh, there he is. <laughs> Don't worry, he's supervised. We're thinking maybe sort of this direction, like where he's walking, we can put a hammock. We actually have a hammock. So we thought maybe that might be a cool place for the hammock. I have absolutely no idea what to do with this side. This rug is a rug that we bought for our living room and it ended up not working out. So we put it out here, but it definitely needs to be cleaned off. But like it works out here, it's fine. All we really have back here so far is these two chairs, which are from Ikea. We got them like two or more years ago. They're great. Like they were, this was our literal dining set that we had inside and we've sort of just taken it outside. We don't really want this to be an outdoor dining set. These actually look great in our dining room currently. They're kind of like a mix match chair type of thing. So we'd like to, if possible, put these back inside and maybe get another chair to go out here. We do want this side to be like a dining side. Also this box here at the top is some string lights. That's like the first thing we're gonna do today. These string lights my mom bought for us. They're from Amazon. I believe they are LED lights. They're like shatterproof, waterproof. So hopefully these work out. We have one outlet right here and we're going to attempt to get this one outlet to last this entire yard. We're gonna do some light stringing. I think like this maybe, or like a triangle shape because this yard is beautiful and definitely gets super dark at night. So we need some light out here so we can enjoy it. Drew is very excited to get going on the lights. Oh, are you having a pensive moment? <laughs> so we're gonna start off by uh, setting up the lights. That's gonna be the very first step and possibly the hardest step. We'll see. This underbite though, the best. Oh my God, the teeth, I'm dead.
In case you were wondering how we're hanging these, we have these little eye hooks. We actually got these to hang plants on our ceiling, but we had a bunch extra, so we're using those, and then we're just gonna be able to like hang it inside this little hook. So it's perfect, we already had them. After many tries, retries, bickering, almost falling, we do have the first string light hanging up. We weren't really like bickering that bad. I was just like, you should do this. And you're We're like, you divorced. should do this. I'm just joking. Yeah, no, it We're not married. <laughs> We're just breaking up. <laughs> but like, it looks completely fine. It's gonna be beautiful. So now we just gotta do it two more times. We did it! It's really hard to tell, obviously. We'll give you a better shot at night, but oh my god. That was not as bad as I thought. First project complete. We have about two brain cells left. Good morning. So today is, I would say, arguably the most exciting step because we're actually getting our dining set today. And I was able to, after like, I mean, I'm talking literally months of looking on Facebook Marketplace, find a reasonably priced-ish, cute, sort of like vintage rattan dining set. And I'm so excited because the person who's selling it also offered for like a little bit of an extra fee to bring it to us at our house. So she's actually delivering it like right now she's gonna be here in about 10 minutes and I'm excited because we would have had to rent like a U-Haul or bother one of our friends for a truck and we're like social distancing right now and stuff. So this actually works out perfectly. So she's basically just gonna drop it off in the driveway. I'm gonna Venmo her and then we're gonna take it into the backyard. We're gonna need to clean it up and stuff. The backyard does need to be cleaned up by the way. We had a landscaper come out this morning and do an estimate. They're coming tomorrow to clean up the yard. And then also I went around and did the dog poop. I mean, I do it like a couple times a week but you know just trying to take steps to get it extra cleaned up because the yard is in shambles we basically like we're gonna clean it ourselves but we decided for this video and then also you know once every couple months we just have landscapers come and do like a really good job and then we sort of do touch-ups so that's what's going on that's currently the situation the lovely gal is supposed to be arriving any moment now so we're gonna go get rid of the old furniture basically probably put it in the garage until we find another scenario for it and make way for our brand new dining set that we're gonna like have so many fun happy hours outside dinners oh it's gonna be amazing There's really not much of a point in sweeping right now because the landscapers are coming tomorrow and they're gonna blow everything around but I kind of just want it to look nice for today you know all right it has arrived. So cute. And she told me that these covers are removable and that they are washable as well. So that's good. We can wash those, get them nice and fresh and clean. We'll just like sanitize this when we get in the backyard. There's a little glass top and we're going to take it back there. Good morning. It's actually, I don't know, a few days later, something like that. Funny story, um, it actually started pouring rain yesterday and it rained the entire day. So our yard is a little bit ruined. I really do wish that the same day we got the landscaping done is the day that we did the furniture building, but whatever. Today is that day. It's the final day in the backyard makeover. I don't even really know if you want to call it a makeover. We really just like added shit to our backyard, but whatever, she's upgrading. So we have like three little sections of our yard of furniture that has all arrived. I got it on Black Friday for a really, really good deal. It's all sitting at the front door taking up a ton of space. So we're gonna just start building some shit and then we're done. How exciting. All right, first step is this hammock over here. It's been sitting here for literal weeks. Hopefully it's not too hard to put together. We'll see. Fall, it'll be good footage. Yeah, break my back on this bottom <laughs> bar. Perfect. Sure. <laughs> Think about taking a nap in there, you know? Successful first 
addition. Next up we have this lovely fire pit, which is the part we're the most excited about. This is gonna change everything. And then yeah, you gotta think like four chairs will fit around it and a table. Cute. Next we got a little table because we obviously have to have something to put our beverageinos down. I want their beverageinos. <laughs> Step one. Oh god. Put the top on the bottom. Step two, twist. And step three, your table is ready for use. A, B, table, and C. There we go. Not the sturdiest thing, but you know what? I mean, it was like $40, so what can you do? Ooh. Wow. We definitely need to put something on the bottom of these. <laughs> the ground's pretty wet. Last but not least, we have the egg chair. I have been wanting an egg chair for the longest time. You know, we've never really had a backyard. There's a lot happening. Sirens, cats, skateboards. We've never really had a backyard space that's our own before and I just really wanted an egg chair. I feel like it'll complete it. So this one was a little cheaper. I'm hoping it's not for a child. But we're gonna find out when we build it. We'll see. Or move. We'll keep the box just in case. Well, why are you licking the wall? Uh, this bitch, it tastes good. I don't business. And just like that, we have a pretty much finished backyard. We're still gonna play around with what we wanna do with the rug, if we wanna move it under there, whatever, but it's freaking done. We did it! Oh my gosh, everything's done! I'm so happy. Now we finally get to enjoy all of our hard work over the last couple weeks. And now we get to hang out out here for the next like six months until it gets hot and then we don't come out here for half the year. Yay! enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already you can also turn on my post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video let me know your thoughts I mean I know the after shots aren't the most satisfying because again it rained and our yard is really wet but like this is just real life we are loving it so far it's been such a nice little escape links to everything that are still available will be in the description box below but keep in mind I bought the majority of this stuff during Black Friday or secondhand so it's not probably gonna be the same price, but I'll link it just in case you're interested as well. If you have any other suggestions of things you wanna see me make over, like maybe this filming space, we have a little landing, kind of like bonus room area in our house, maybe our bedroom, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. I think these videos are super fun and they're just like a fun little addition to the typical content that's on my channel, fashion, thrifting, stuff like that. So hopefully you all enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.